So guys, today I have a budget-friendly drone for you. This is the Bugs 5W. It's got GPS, it's got a camera that rotates 90 degrees. The camera is removable, even if you wanna take it off. It's got smart modes, it will follow you. You can do points of interest, great stuff like that. The drone is around $200, depending where you find it. I will put links in the description below so you can pick one up. Um, but today what we're gonna do is just do like a first flight type of thing. The interesting and challenging thing is, we have one battery. So the challenge of today's video is to do this full review on one battery. We're gonna see how well we can do. That's also gonna show you and give you an idea about the battery life. It should be about 15 minutes. I'm thinking maybe a little bit less. We're gonna try to do as much as we can. Um, so basically, let's just get started. So we got our drone and everything. We're gonna go out here in the open because we're gonna be using GPS and we're gonna be testing like the return to home so we don't want to be underneath the trees because we all know if you do return to home when you're underneath trees, it's going to crash right into them. So let's uh, get this set up. And it's also like going to rain and my feet are soaked. So let's try to get this done quick, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is just set up the landing pad so we can kind of judge where it returns back at. So we're gonna set this right here. Don't mind my squishy noise. The water is everywhere. What I really like about this drone is that you can remove the camera if you want to. So you can definitely just fly without a camera, non-FPV. But this thing does have a, an app, it's called Bugs Go. And we're gonna use that to utilize the camera and everything today. So first thing we do is put the battery in, lock it, turn the controller on, and then we have to um, calibrate the compass. So you just do this a few times. And then you have to point the camera up. This is gonna be hard with me holding the camera. <laughs> Let's do this. You point the camera up and then you spin it like this. Okay, and now it is ready to take off. Of course, we have to make sure that the controller is all set up too. You can see that we have zero satellites right now. So we're going to wait until it gets some more satellites. You can turn GPS mode off like that, on and off. Kudos to them though, because the back door doesn't require a screwdriver. A lot of um, drones I've used in the past that are you know, budget friendly have a freaking screw and it's annoying because if you're out and about and you need to change batteries, it's super annoying, but at least this doesn't have that. And as you can see, we have 14 satellites now, so we acquired them pretty quickly. So what we're gonna do now is load the Bugs Go app. This is gonna allow us to do the FPV and get the other features. You don't have to use the Bugs Go app. You could just fly blindly, take off the camera, but I'm gonna show you most of the features I can today with one battery, like I said. So we are ready to take off. You can see on the map, it has our location and the drone's location. Our location is the blue dot and the drone's location is obviously just the icon of the drone. So we know everything is good there. You can also see on the screen, there's return to home and then there's the follow me and then the points of interest button. So we're gonna try to um, do all of that. And there's also waypoints as well. So we're gonna try all of that today in one battery. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so what we're gonna do first, there is a takeoff button on the controller. Actually, there's an unlock button on the controller. And then we're gonna hit take, and then it starts the propellers as you can see. And then we're gonna hit take off. So it goes up in the air and then hovers. And it's just chilling. And you can see we have 15 satellites and you can see the distance. So everything's good. And then we are going to hit record. Let's take it up. You can see on the controller the height and the distance. 
So what we're going to do is just fly it away. You definitely have to make sure the controller is pointing at the drone because this is Wi-Fi based. It's not gonna be like perfectly synced footage like with the DJI drones, but you're going to have to get some, some compromises when you get a drone that's like $200. The image, yeah, is like pretty skippy. We are 400 feet away. Yeah, the image itself like isn't connected, but do you know what is more reliable? It's just the controller. Like you can see the controller, we are pulling it back and the distance is getting closer. So we can see it's coming back to us. So we don't necessarily need a live image. And I can hear it coming back. So you can see it is trying to come back home now. The distance is getting lower. That's working great. Only problem is it looks like when the drone loses connection, it doesn't like auto connect. And now after a few seconds, it's starting to auto land. It does give you a little bit of time to react. So you can press the cancel button, like return to home again, and then it stops. So we can see it stopped doing what it was doing. So now let's try something else out. And the aircraft image is connected again, so that's good. Okay, so let's try the follow me mode. Okay. <laughs> I should have gotten my car. So I think what we should do now is try to do points of interest. Obviously we don't have a good point of interest. It's just a field, but you can kind of get the idea. Let's try it again. So it's doing a nice rotation. And last but not least, let's fly it away just a little bit to like 100 meters away. And then we're gonna press the home button. So we're gonna see how well it does. So it's coming back home. And now we get a different type of beep because we're at a, like 25% battery life. And it should be auto landing soon. So there it is. So according to this recording, we got 15 minutes of footage, which I think is pretty good. Only thing is for my specific case, um, the, G the drone took off right there. But then as you can see, it's not far away, but it's not perfect either. But again, that's one of, one of the downsides. You're not gonna get 100% like perfect accuracy with these types of drones, because they are you know, affordable. This is the perfect way to carry everything. So guys, since we've gone through one battery, keep in mind that was like 15 minutes, so that's perfectly fine. When you're trying to play around with every single setting, it's not gonna seem like a lot, but if you just go out there and fly, it's gonna be a lot easier on you. I would definitely consider picking up like one or two more batteries to extend your flight time to at least 30 minutes total. I'm still out of shape from running back and forth. Um, so like my final thoughts about this drone for now, the camera quality isn't the best. So what do I really love about this drone? So we have the GPS, which is really good for this price point. It comes home just fine. The controller itself has really good range. The only downside is that since it connects to Wi-Fi to your iPhone, that is a little bit buggy. You saw that I lost signal. Um, what I would probably do, honestly, in the future is just take off the camera and fly just for fun. And then you can use the controller to figure out how far away it is. Like you should always fly line of sight, but the controller certainly does help having those readouts. Also the tracking functions seem to work okay. But the problem is when the camera isn't the best and then the stabilization of the camera isn't the best, I don't see too many situations where you'd want to actually track something or do orbital shots just because <laughs> I don't know where I'd, I don't know where I'd put it. Like I wouldn't use it as vlog material. 
probably the best case situation, I would just take screenshots of the pictures and maybe upload them on social media. Those could be okay if they're touched up properly. Ultimately, this thing isn't made to make videos. It's not made to get cinematic footage. It's just made to have fun. And then the GPS is also a great feature because it comes back to you. And MJX, in my opinion, is probably the best company for making budget style drones. So I've reviewed the Bugs 2, 2W, the Bugs 3, and now the Bugs 5W. They're all great for that, you know, affordable price point. <laughs> If you want to get to the cinematic type stuff, you're going to have to spend $500 and up. This is a great place to start. If you crash one of these, it's not going to be the end of the world. And if your camera breaks, you just pop it off and put in a new one. Whereas with some DJI drones, you're going to have to send it in for service if you don't know what you're doing. Anyway, so hopefully you enjoyed this video with just one battery. I tried to utilize multiple cameras to get the most footage as possible. And yeah, just let me know what else you want to see on the Bugs 5W. I'd be willing to make another video if you want. I could do a full-on range test. I couldn't do that today because the battery life, it would probably take it down to at least 50%. Remember, the range on the controller is so much better than the video range with the phone and the Wi-Fi. So if you utilize the screen at the bottom to see how far you're going, you should be able to go pretty far. Also, it's kind of stupid, but I really liked it. it I, I thought it was cool. The lights on the Bugs 5 actually light up, so it looks kind of like mean and angry. You're not going to see it all the time, but if you fly when it's a little bit darker, you'll see it. And it just makes the drone look kind of badass to me. And as far as the charger, you can certainly plug it in and utilize a power bank to charge the battery. But this, this battery can take like three to four hours to charge, like no joke. So in that case, like battery banks may not be the most beneficial thing because it's not like I'm going to sit out here for three to four hours and wait for it to charge. You can certainly charge it in your car maybe and you know if you're driving take it somewhere else but just keep that in mind. And guys that is all I have to say about that. If you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that thumbs up button. My feet are soaked from running through the water and be sure to subscribe guys. I'm almost at 69,000 subscribers. We're trying to get to 100,000 this year so be sure to hit that subscribe button wherever it may be. Do that for me if you don't mind. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Oh my gosh, guys, it is so freaking wet out here. I'm gonna get like trench foot.